My name is Brian McFarlane. I'm an associate professor in the Applied Physiology Laboratory at the University of North Texas. The Applied Physiology Laboratory is a shared resource lab that includes expertise of individuals in nutrition, immunology, and muscle physiology. And we specialize in partnering with industry resources to complete research projects that are of interest for our laboratory and industry. A lot of our research involves looking at exercise and how it affects these biological outcomes. We may have people exercise and then take a blood sample or a muscle sample before and after the exercise, maybe doing recovery, maybe the next day. Exercise gives a lot of inflammatory markers off and a lot of what we look at is inflammation in the body. We use multiplexing in the lab once we're finished with data collection with our research studies and we're trying to figure out what actually happens to these people. One of the things that our lab prides ourselves in is being an early adopter of novel technology. In that vein, one of the approaches that we recently adopted was the Luminex uh, FlexMap 3D powered by the XMAP technology. There were questions we were trying to answer that we couldn't answer before and we kept running our head against the wall, but once we were able to move to the Luminex platform, we were able to answer those questions that were quite important. Prior to using multiplexing technology, the way I was trained as a grad student and the way a lot of students are trained is to use ELISA techniques, uh, the, the traditional single plex approach to testing. And what we found is that we can complete our analysis in uh, 20th the time by using multiplexing. We get better results and it, it actually ends up costing us less as well. If we didn't have the capability or availability of being able to multiplex, it would be extremely difficult. Our workflow would change immensely. We are very busy with lots of research studies and the amount of markers that we're looking inside of the blood and serum and plasma, we would take a ton more hours. Time does matter in clinical testing because oftentimes the results of one clinical test determine the course of action for a next clinical test. The faster we can get results and outcomes to a partner, the sooner they can make decisions about the next step in their R&D process. The key to all of these approaches for our lab is trying to serve our customers better.